Hi guys, welcome to another painting tutorial. Today we're gonna paint a simple spotted bullet pattern and we're starting right now. Right guys, let's start with our spotted bullet pattern. Now, a spotted bullet pattern has been super famous among pike fishermen in Europe and that is why I have chosen this jerk bait for pike fishing. So we're gonna do a simple spotted bullet pattern on that one. Alright, first of all we're gonna take some hot orange or any other orange you want. Uh, this is hot orange from Vallejo. Really lovely bright orange color. Alright, so I got some hot orange in my chamber now. Now, a lot of spotted bullet patterns actually have an entire yellow belly and body. But I do want to separate the belly a little bit from the sides. So that's why I'm gonna do this in orange. And also I love jerk baits with an orange belly. And orange and yellow really fits well together too. Like so. And you don't need to worry about overspray because as you can see I got a lot of overspray on the sides. But no worry because we're gonna go over that with a different color and you're not gonna see a thing of that anymore. So now we got a really nice and bright hot orange belly. And now if you got some wicked pearl orange you can spray some over there on top of that. If you don't have Wicked Pearl Orange or any other Pearl Orange, uh, then you can just do it like this and leave it a little bit more opaque. It's just up to you. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, the Pearl. Just dust some Orange Pearl on there. Alright, so we got our Orange Belly. Now we're gonna base coat the rest of our lure totally black. I just got opaque black here in my chamber. I'm just gonna blast black on there. Alright, so we base coated our lure black and I got some overspray on the belly. As you can see, some little black spots and everything. But I don't mind that. I like it gives a, it gives a little texture to the belly as well, so I like that. Now the reason we put black on this is because we're gonna go over with a gold metallic or pearlescent paint now and it's gonna stick out way more when you do it on a black base because of the contrast it creates. The black contrasts a lot against the metallic pigment. So I got some wicked gold in my chamber and we're just gonna coat the entire lure again with gold now. Alright, and now comes the fun part. We have coated all lure golden entirely and now we're gonna do a wash of sepia brown. Now, what is a wash? A wash is actually when you spray a, a paint on your lure and then you wipe it off and then the paint will only be in the cracks and crevices. So in this case this lure has a nice scaling pattern so when I wipe it off it's only gonna be in between the cracks and crevices of the scales and a little bit of the gill plates and the fin. So that's it's a really nice and cool trick to do to get a little bit of detail and texture in, in your lure which is pretty cool. So what do you need? I use Wicked Detail Sepia uh, but you can use any brown you want. You can also mix some, some brown yourself with uh, a few colors. You can use transparent colors or opaque colors for this. It doesn't really matter. I would recommend to use transparent colors because if you are too late with wiping off some and uh, it leaves a, a, a sp and it leaves some paint you cannot get off. If it's opaque, it's really gonna stick out. If it's just transparent, it's gonna blend in your pattern, and then it's gonna be much it's gonna be a, a much better result. Or it's a little bit more foolproof, I would say. So we take our detail sepia or your your brown paint, and I reduce it with about 50%, maybe a little bit more. I just over reduce it so it's really runny it's almost like water now you take a piece of cloth or a paper towel but I like to use a piece of cloth and I, I make it wet I make it moist like so so it's it's just moist it's not dripping wet just moist and I put that really close to me because you'll need it right away so now what you do you take your paint you shoot it on the lure and before it even dries you wipe it off with your cloth. And that is gonna leave a little bit of color in there, in those scales. Now I used sepia brown because 
if I would use black it's gonna stick out too much and it's gonna darken my lure entirely so it's gonna be a really dark lure and I don't want this lure to be too dark I want it to be a little bit brighter on the brighter side so that's why I chose brown for this so now like in one minute tops we created an entire texture in there on our lure and you can do this with any carved out pattern on any lure as long as this it is carved out and it has some depth you can do this wash technique and it's super easy it's super quick and uh, it makes it, it gives great results as well all right so I still got detail sepia or brown in my chamber and we're gonna dark in the back now all right so now let's put the black spots on there so I use opaque black because it's gonna cover really nicely and we're gonna do only I think only three spots on there some pretty big spots on there now you can also darken uh, with a little bit of black around the eye just to give the eye a little bit more of definition or a little bit more of, of a contrast I would say not much just a little so I always shoot inside the eye and then I work my way out of there so I got full control if there's too much paint building up inside the eye it doesn't really matter because we're gonna glue an eye over there anyway alright now for the last step we're gonna put some gold on the black spots now there are a few ways to do this you can just spray it on with your airbrush and keep it a nice round dot but I want to do it a little differently I'm gonna dip on the spots with a little piece of a sponge you can also do it with a little bit of kitchen paper or you can do it with a piece of cloth all are gonna give similar results you can also use a little uh, kitchen wrap the plastic foil you can also make a ball of that and dip it and then dip it on there it's also gonna give uh, some structure so there are many ways to do this I'm gonna use the sponge because I like the texture of the sponge but it's almost a similar effect if you just fold this up a little bit and make a, a little bit of a texture in there as you can see I already used this once and if you dip with this it's gonna give a similar effect as well and this is something that everybody has at home so I'm gonna take my my little mixing cup here and for this I'm gonna use a little lighter gold which is Vallejo polished gold it's a little lighter than the gold that we used but if you don't have that of course use the same gold as used on the lure it's not really a big it's not a big deal I just want it to be a little lighter on there just dip it in there and then dip it on your lure like so super simple alright guys the so lure is almost finished now it's just the eyes and a clear coat and then we're done now I've chosen eyes from lure blanks these are gonna pop really hard it's gonna make the bait super cool and these eyes are beautiful and they reflect they reflect light very well so they really pop I've chosen these orange eyes to stay in that orange accent like the belly is orange then the eyes should be an orangey red as well and that just really pops out of there and makes this spotted bullet <laughs> really cool so let's put some clear coat on this one right guys so lure is finished as you can see the pearl gold really shines through perfectly on there as well as the orange belly it really sticks out from the lure together with the eyes a perfect match this is just one hell of a nice shiny jerk bait I really liked how it turned out also the back is nice and metallic because of our wicked sepia is transparent so it still shines true as always I will leave a link in the description below for all the materials that I use to paint this lure make sure you check out our eyes because these are just magical they are really worth the mention they are so cool they really pop if there's any pattern you want me to paint 
let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye bye.